Hey babes, welcome back to Rubber Tramp. My name is Shane Fell, and me and my kid travel around in our 2001 Astro Van, Nardi. As you can see, we just landed. But before all that happened, we had to go searching for Jesus postcards and hot springs. I mean, every little thing counts when you're getting happy, right? It's funny how little things can make you happy. Now that our eyes are full, it's time for a roadside snack. It's called ramen, baby. Check it out. If you guys don't know what a ramen burrito is, I don't know where you've lived your whole life. A towel or a t-shirt or something. You can do it in a paper towel. You can do it in toilet paper. That's how I learned. some more music and then we're gonna head out from here we got our ramen burritos dude oops i don't know what's happening there but find music really quick before we bounce oh that wasn't recording at all well son of a bitch there's some stuff and stuff in case we forgot it there's our burritos doodly do and there was these guys in case we didn't get the shout out to aiden and the first one i might not have been recording whatever thank you homie so we set out to rock our ramen burritos as we rode off into the sunset by this time, we're still hoping we can make it to the hot springs on time. Yeah, I think they close around 10 o'clock. Let's see how many full albums we can listen to front to back, like we did back in the 80s and 90s. I figured this is how I want to listen to music right now on the road. It's uh, kind of different than what it's been for the last few years, where it's like a common mixtape in your pocket all the time. Anyways. Right now it's Modest Mouse, by the way, that we're listening to. This road trip, I decided I want to listen to things like through the album. So uh, instead of having like things on random and blah 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 as a vibe or whatever, like it usually is, or something or like you know most of us are used to these days with electronics having playlists. I mean, like before it was like you know mixtapes, and so it was like really cool when you could have like a mixtape, an infinite mixtape in your fucking pocket. Now, after like however many years it's been going on, like. You know, now I want to listen to the whole albums or whatever, so right now, it's Modest Mouse. Bug's got her freaking ramen burrito chunking right there. I'll show you how it works when I get mine open. That sun is bright as a motherfucker, and I'll talk to you guys later.
My stubborn ass didn't want to listen to the map, so we drove down 20, and I'm thinking, at least in my head, I'm like, you know, 20, they're only going to be closed for a minute if it's closed. They got to be fixing it pretty quick. Well, and of course, they hadn't fixed it. Not only that, but they had the whole thing blocked off with a guy standing there, and the guy standing there was actually pretty cool. Said he wasn't supposed to tell me, but I could go up through John Day, which is what I planned on doing anyways. So I told him, hey, thanks for nothing, homie. And me and Bug rode up into the sunset. Of course, I didn't record any of that part. You know me. Anyways, I wish I would have had a recorder on at the time, but I didn't. And then, at this point in time, you get to watch this whole beautiful sunset, because I had picked up a hitchhiker. Dude had been turned around by the closures as well, and he had been hitchhiking for well over 50 years, he said. At least this is how he reported it to me. Anyways, we had these really rad conversations. And when I got to the subject of me doing a YouTube, and that's why I was recording this stuff, he got a little more clammy about it, and so I didn't push the subject with him. I just let him know, hey man, I'm not going to use any of this stuff. You ain't got nothing to worry about with me, man. I'd rather just have an authentic conversation with you and not worry about any of that stuff. So we got on jiving, talking back and forth, and it was really cool for both of us, I think. There's a freedom you get from hitchhiking and knowing that the universe has your back. There isn't really many other things in life that give you that feeling. Not like upfront and personal right up in your face. I mean, surfing gives you that feeling. And sometimes art can give you that feeling. Otherwise, it's like random synchronicities and really cool miracles. Or you just really got to be paying attention to your life. And a lot of people don't pay attention, I don't think. But that's not any of my freaking business. Not my life, not my monkeys, not my circus, man. All I know is the universe has gifted me some pretty cool things. And sometimes it's just as easy as a little tree. want to take the gift of conversation for granted, so I let it go. So we drop homeboy off to find some coffee and we turn left headed down the dark path. Continued on our way down towards Crane Hot Springs. I was just gonna pull over and sleep, but they had given me a call and asked me if I was on my way. Now, 10 p.m. is the latest you can check in, and they say you forfeit your money if you don't check in by then. And when I explained to them what had happened with the closures and everything, they were more than understanding and said, Come on down, man, we're gonna stay open and wait for you. Which, in my eyes, was probably one of the coolest things that had happened to me all day. Check the safety boxes immediately with this spot. There's a bunch of other really cool things about this place, too. called us on our way and we're asking if we were going to make it. Um, we have to be here by 10 o'clock to check in. No way we were going to make it by 10 o'clock with all the closures and stuff. So we're waiting for us to, to show up and just wrap. You can see like all that steam coming off. So that, and then like the main pool's over there in camp ground. It's really cool. There's like all these those guys, water bodies and shit. And so for shame. We'll get bug up. Check this out. This is a cool spot though. Definitely worth the 35 bucks if you uh, want to drop 35 bucks in the camp somewhere. So the campground has a shared kitchen, which is really cool because you can bake some stuff. And then there's also a 24-hour lobby that you can hang out in and get coffee and stuff. 
And then there's showers, bathrooms, changing rooms, and private tubs, I think. Uh, I didn't look into any of that kind of stuff. I was mostly into the soaking part of the deal. Here's the showers, you know, they're actually really nice and clean. They keep a really nice facility here. Definitely something worth the $35 if you were gonna pay $35 to go camp somewhere. So here's the hot springs. It's a pretty cool little spot. I'm not gonna go in there, that's where I came out. It's a little beach right here, we can probably walk down the bug. See everything. But I wanted to grab this because from across is of Nardi hanging out over there. It's freaking pretty rad. Anyways, there's the kiddo. Pretty cool little spot. It's got these benches across the edge, so all that whole edge is all benches. Um, and then like the hot water is coming out over there. You can see they're working on shit. We're probably supposed to be getting out of here. They're probably like, oh, everybody's supposed to leave or some shit. But that's why I went and grabbed the camera too because there ain't nobody out in here. So it makes it a little easier for us to be out here fucking around. I gotta get a good stretch in before we head out because that driving shit hurts the freaking hips, man. My hips are so tight lately. It's crazy. Kai gong and yoga and stuff and still dude roughing it so i'm gonna have to work on that and get some oxygen down in there it's a really good spot to do it because you can ground out really well and it gets your it lets your uh what's that called here i was gonna say parent i don't know if that's the correct word though way cooler that way. Should we go head out, kiddo? Okay. We'll go get another pick of this nerdy since everyone's out of the way. Because that's a really good pick. A little more. Can we go this way? Wait, never mind. That's good. Okay. Say that then. and daydreams. We gotta get back on the road. We do have an agenda sometimes. It's not necessarily something like 5 a.m., nor do I hope it ever will be. I think that's probably set for plane tickets. But that's about it. At least for my life, anyways. But right now, we're on our way back to rubber camp. We gotta go pick up Hotai and bring him back to Boise. Dude ain't having the organ thing, and he's old, so we're gonna make him comfortable and bring him back. Thanks for hanging out and rubber tramping with us today, guys. We're going to head out and go on towards Sisters, go back to the rubber camp, pick up the cat, and head back. I'll get some of that going here in a little bit, but this one's already at almost 15, so... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Hanging out, Zen Dog, and it.